Lorraine Cayley was joined by journalist and author Tina Brown to speak about her new book, The Palace Papers, which takes a close look at the royal family. Whilst speaking to Lorraine, they touched on how Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's actions have impacted their reputation and how the Queen handled Prince Andrew's recent sexual assault allegations, which he has strenuously denied. But it was a comment made by Andrew to his ex-wife which left the ITV host staggered. Lorraine remarked, the worst scandal of all, of course, and I know he has denied everything but Prince Andrew. And in your book, there is a shocking, I mean you think you can't be shocked at Prince Andrew anymore but his attitude to his ex-wife, there is a story that you tell in the book it is terrible. Yeah, that was a shocking thing. An executive from a media company went to visit the Duchess of York about a TV show, Tina explained. They were talking, and Andrew came in, and he said, What are you talking to this fat cow about? Lorraine looked away in horror as she struggled to find the words to respond. I can't believe it, that's his attempt at humor. She eventually replied. Tina added, well yes, unfortunately, Andrew is just you know there is a boorishness in him. There always was, and it was tolerated until it tipped over into this appalling situation with Jeffrey Epstein. And of course, the question mark over the underage Virginia Jufrey, the fact is that it has created the most awful blemish on the family and has been very painful. Touching on Andrew escorting his mother to Prince Philip's memorial service, Lorraine continued, she clearly supports him. But having said that, she is nobody's fool, and she knows the reaction so it will be interesting to see what happens. Despite Prince Andrew and the Duchess of York's divorce in 1996, she still lives with him at Royal Lodge, his seven-bedroom mansion near Windsor Castle. York City Council recently voted to remove Prince Andrew's status as an honorary freeman in an extraordinary full council meeting. It follows calls for Andrew to give up his Duke of York honor in the wake of the sexual assault case brought against him by Virginia Jufrey. The case was settled out of court in February, with the prince paying an undisclosed settlement. Prince Andrew has vehemently denied the accusations. Elsewhere in the interview, the pair touched on the impact Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had on the royal family. Tina explained, I mean, the 90s was a tough time for the Queen and Philip, and with the whole Diana and the divorces, it was a nightmare for them. But the Queen was younger, and there was always her at the centre, the keep calm and carry on and she had Philip, and they were a unit. Now, of course, the Queen, where at the moment of the twilight years of her reign doesn't have Philip with her anymore, her health is not good, and that is the big vulnerable difference now to what things were like before.